Hello, it's Steve over at Cam's Cars, and as you can see, it's Peugeot RCZ day. That's right, people. We have two amazing Peugeot RCZs, okay? We have the black one, the highest spec in black, looks very menacing. Then we have the blue one, which I believe is amazing because it's mine. That is my car. Um, if you've seen a previous video on me walking around that blue one, um, <laughs> I had it. Um, I had a Mercedes at the time, and then I saw that and was like, that's mine. But now we have another. See, the dilemmas I face on a day-to-day -day basis. So, we have two very, very beautiful RCZs. Now, we've never had RCZs in before, but now we're always gonna stop them. These are stunning cars, okay? So, it usually, I would do a video and say you either go for a black one or a blue one. But these are two very different cars, and I will demonstrate why. So, should we start with the higher spec or the lower spec? Same mileage, pretty much. We'll go with the higher spec. There we go. So, this one is beautiful in black. Beautiful black alloy wheels. As you can see, it's high spec. We've got front parking sensors, rear parking sensors. Uh, brand new tyres all the way around. I'm pretty sure they're brand new on the back, virtually new on the front, that's right. Um, yes. I hope the spoiler goes off on the blue one, I just didn't raise it. You can see, this is a lovely, lovely car. Very Batmobile-esque. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Uh, these are extremely practical cars as well, because... <laughs> In the world of Stephen, these are practical cars. So, let me show you. So, in the boot, now you think you wouldn't get a big boot, but you get a huge boot in this. Look at that. At least like two dead people in there. Nice and easy. And you've got a dead person in a gold cart. You see? Now, what's up with the dead people? <laughs> um, right. A place to put a spare tyre if you wanted to get one. Well, these never did come with them. Uh, you get like that puncture repair kit stuff. So, very nice. I should leave the spoiler up on the blue one actually. It does look good with the spoiler up. You can manually adjust it, but you can do it automatically when you get to a certain speed. I love the sloping roof on these. But this does look, looks bad. Looks a mean car. So, the lovely Peugeot Decker. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now this has got full lever interior, okay? Very, very nice. The other one doesn't. Uh, this, again, as I said, this is a very high spec. Heated seats, electric seats, memory seats. Embossed Peugeot sign. Embossed, embossed. Uh, back seats, and they're really clever because they fold down as well, so you can get an even bigger boot. Now, jumping in this mean car. It's got the JBL hi-fi system as well. Again, optional upgrade. This car has got a lot of upgrades in it. Oh yeah. So, it's a two litre, which means it's no slouch. It's a lovely car. Obviously that's just the handbrake. Nice, I like this car. So, obviously all the system's off here, so. Um, bah, 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 bah. I assume that one? Maybe? Oh, I'll tune in. There we go. Peugeot sign coming on. And now. There we go. Smooth FM. You know, I don't think it's a smooth FM car. Radio one? Maybe. It's a kiss car. It is. It's a kiss car. So. Let's turn that off. So we have cruise control, audio control unit, obviously auto lights, as you like. Uh, then we've got auto wipers as well, dimming rear view mirror, very fancy uh, sat nav system. So if I push one of these buttons, it is nav. There we go. And I think you just go, yeah, okay, we want to go there. Yeah, okay, we'd be good. There we go, now calculate your route for you. It's nice having an inbuilt sat-nav system. 
There we go. In colour as well. Um, so yes, Bluetooth, CD, FM, AM, radio, um, SOS. I'm in trouble. Sort of a Batmobile. I need help. No idea. Uh, Peugeot button. Maybe either call someone who, when you're in trouble, when you're really in trouble. You see, that's that's all I can guess on that one. Uh, you get SD card in there. Uh, dual aircon climate control, which I hate. Mono, all the way. See, OCD, I like it the same. Um, you have, that's the button that lifts and drops the rear spoiler. We've got to leave it up though, because it looks cool. Uh, these are the buttons for all the sat nav. But yes. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now, I have just done a video, and I was going to do a dual video of this car and the blue car, but I don't think it needs to be done. I No, nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do a separate one for the blue one and put it on, because this, this car deserves its own video, because it's stunning. It's lovely. Really nice. I do like the leather seats. So I wish I had this one now instead of the other one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love the clock on this as well. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, any questions on this car? Um, as I'm just dribbling all over it. Um, these cars are amazing. And you know what? The miles per gallon on these, epic, epic. I literally, in that one, I drive in every day, uh, in the blue one, and I average about 44, 45 miles to the gallon, and I do not drive slow. So, yes. Uh, but for any police officers listening, I drive very slow. I'm like a snail. I'm like two mile an hour. You have to flag me down. Uh, but any questions on this car, uh, rather than my driving habits, uh, my name's Steve over at Cam's Cars. You can follow us on YouTube, uh, Cam's Cars. If you just search that, you'll see my walk around videos. And if you do, you'll see me dribbling over that blue one as soon as we got it in last time. And I had a Mercedes that quickly went and then I jumped in that one. Um, but yes, this is a lovely car. It will not be here long, guaranteed. This will fly. Um, yeah, my name's Steve. Um, I'll speak to you soon.